Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Davis and I am a GIS analyst at the Intertribal Council of Arizona's Tribal Epidemiology Center and this is um, Google Earth Training. Um, the purpose of Google Earth Training, is, uh, this particular training, is to um, be a resource for the um, COVID-19 outbreak so that you can use um, the information that you may be collecting in Excel or in EpiInfo and that you can um, bring that into Google Earth and map and track um, your outbreak and your investigations. So um, our objectives for this training is first I'm going to show you how to download Google Earth um, Pro to your computer. Um, Google Earth Pro is a free software program and um, it is something that is relatively easy to use. Um, so if you have any questions throughout this training, um, my uh, email is there, Jonathan period Davis at itcaonline.com, and I check my email frequently. So please, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, uh, our other objectives are primarily is how to navigate Google Earth and use many of the features. Um, within Google Earth, how to measure distances and areas, um, how to organize, store, and manage the information that you create in Google Earth for your projects, how to create permanent spatial data such as points, lines, and polygons, and how to include attribute information in within Google Earth, um, and then how to create maps in Google Earth. After we do um, this tutorial on how to create maps, we will also go into detail on the options for sharing information that you've created in Google Earth and how to secure and keep that in-house. So I want to state, first and foremost, when you use Google Earth Desktop, um, all of the information that you're creating on the desktop is stored on your local computer if you save it on your local computer. It isn't shared out, it isn't um, sent to Google. Um, it's just stored on your local machine. You have to choose to share your information. So this can be something on your personal desktop or for your um, uh, department that it stays in-house unless you want to share it and put it out there. So I look forward to working with you over this tutorial. And again, if you have any questions, um, my email is jonathan.davis at itcaonline.com.